Burning Crusade Classic is finally upon us, and in this video, I will be sharing everything that I'm looking forward to now that the portal to Outland is open. Again. For the third time? Fourth? It's been open a lot. World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade has a very special place in this old heart. Back when I first started playing World of Warcraft, the vanilla version, it took me ages to get to the max level. I spent way too much time just enjoying and exploring the world of Warcraft that I learned to love in playing Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 3, so seeing it in an MMO format and being able to walk through all the areas, I wasn't in any rush to finish all my quests and catch up with, with everybody and, and max out my character and do endgame stuff. No, 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 no. I was enjoying the now game stuff. I took my sweet ass time progressing by just hanging out in major cities, exploring like I said, and also just trying to sneak into enemy territories. So by the time the Burning Crusade came out, I still wasn't level 60, so I never really got to enjoy the main end game content of World of Warcraft vanilla. So really, Burning Crusade was the first time I got to really take part in end game content. But did I really take part in the end game content? Not really. When I got to level 70, I had so much like misdirection. I had no idea what to do first. I was joining with my buddy and we were just doing like random dungeons. I was collecting gear that I thought looked cool, but I had no idea like how to gear up for raids or, or even like sign up for them. We didn't have a really active guild. So, so yeah, I never got the chance to really fully take part in a raid. So I never got to kill Kael'thas and Illidan during the Burning Crusade run. But now's my chance to redeem myself. I can finally go back to where, where I was, level 70, endgame Burning Crusade, and go and kill Kael'thas and Illidan. Now, as far as which class I'm looking forward to playing, I'm thinking I should probably go for the Resto Shaman, because that's what I was back in the day. And I enjoy having a bigger part of a raid and being in a party, but... I'm not ballsy enough to be the tank because everything kind of leans on them. But as a healer, I feel like that's where my strengths are. I like balancing all the bars. And the Resto Shaman back in Burning Crusade is a beast. Definitely superior to all the other healers. But that decision to play the Resto Shaman would be completely based on nostalgia. And I'm thinking, should I play a class just for nostalgia or should I switch it up and actually play a different class and have a completely new experience with this old game. What are you guys looking for? Are you looking for nostalgia? Are you going to go back and play your old main from Burning Crusade? Or are you also going to go the route of having a new experience with this? Let me know in the comments. Another thing I'm looking forward to is like really diving into the story. Because back in the day when I was playing Burning Crusade, I just blasted through all the quests. I'd be like, yep, yep, except what's my, what's my task? Oh, kill 50 of these. Cool. And I would just not read the story at all because, again, I didn't get to the end game of World of Warcraft. I didn't I didn't want to waste more time with Burning Crusade. I wanted to just get there and 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 participate. So I'm definitely going to be reading the quest this time around, and it also should make it a bit more impactful when I actually finally get to Kael'thas and Illidan because I'll know completely from start to finish what they were up to in Outland, which. On the topic of story and what they're doing in Outland, I highly recommend that everyone goes back and plays Warcraft 3. Most of the story that happens in the Burning Crusade is a story that was established in the Warcraft 3 campaign. And the campaign is really fun to play, so again, I recommend playing it. Reforged is a bad remake, but it's not that bad. But you could always go play the older version. I think you could still do that. Pretty sure. At least the campaign. But yeah, it establishes how Illidan and Kael'thas, first of all, got to meet each other, and then why they ended up in Outland. So, give it a shot. Even if you've played it before, like I have. I mean, I started playing it legitly, but I was like, you know what, I just want the story. So I just put in the cheat code to be immortal and then ran through the game. And there's a lot of things I didn't remember. So yeah, definitely worth a, worth a replay if you've played it before. But yeah, if you go back and play Warcraft 3, or even if you don't, I, I think we should all pay attention to the story of Burning Crusade because there's a lot of travel time in between quests. It's a really slow pace out there, so at least gives you some story to chew on, something to really think about while you're grinding away for low drop rates. The reintroduction of Blood Elves and the Draenei is also really cool. I 
played an orc shaman throughout most of my time in uh, early World of Warcraft. Actually, even now in World of Warcraft, I play an orc shaman. The reason why he's an orc shaman is because in Warcraft 3, the shamans are orcs. So, based on that reasoning for making my characters, maybe this time I'll still want to play a healer, but I'll play a blood elf priest, since in Warcraft 3, the priests are blood elves. I think. They're definitely an elf. I'm pretty sure they're blood elf. I think. They might be high elves. I'll have to check that. But if they are blood elves, that would be a cool way that I can have my nostalgia and my new experience too. Playing a healer, playing something from Warcraft 3, and Burning Crusade that I haven't played before. And finally, as an honorable mention, um, is flying. You could finally fly in Burning Crusade. The reason why it's an honorable mention is because you can fly in Outland, but once you get to the Eastern Kingdoms or Kalimdor, unlike, you know, retail, you can't fly there. So, bit of a bummer, but, you know, it's going to speed up stuff in the main area where you're going to be questing. So, hooray! And boo to that! So yeah, those are a few of the things I am excited for and actually have started to work on now that we have Burning Crusade Classic in our hands. What I'd really like to know is what you're looking forward to, and you can let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and until next time, keep on questing.